Hello and welcome back to Crystal's Quest. So, for the month of October, I'll be posting a new video every Sunday. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because it's my favorite time of the year. <laughs> I absolutely love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. I love to get scared. I love spooky stuff. I always catch up with my horror films. So yeah, this is I want to celebrate. So today is October 3rd. It's October 3rd. So for our first episode, today's topic is do you believe in spirits? Ghost stories has been told for many years. In fact, the first notable report was in the century AD by a Roman author. He reported that he saw a long bearded man walking around with chains at his house in Athens. Since then, there's been numerous sightings and throughout the whole world, there has been reports of ghost sighting as well as, like I said before, it's popular in films. So for many, many years, ghost sighting has been reported. Like I mentioned before, it's been shown on the big screen and it's just, it's either something that's terrifying or something that's magnificent like it's something like magical so it depends how you take it is it something that you don't mind experiencing or is something horrific anyways i do want to share one story in particular i think this was my first time ever encountering a ghost at the moment i didn't realize it until i got older and they told me the story but let me share it as i was growing up i used to stay at my grandmother's house all the time and I remember I used to either hang out in one of the other rooms or I used to just play around in the hallway or the backyard. I used to see this tall man with a black trench coat. I wasn't scared of him or anything. I was at least like 10 years old and under. And all I thought in my head was like, oh, probably it's a friend because I used to see him frequently. And I was just like, oh, okay, he's chill. He's nice. He just used to always watch over me. And if I get hurt, he was always near but other than that like it's I didn't sense anything terrifying I didn't think of him as a ghost I saw him more like you know like imaginary friend until my mom shared me this story so she told me um, a story when she came to visit my grandmother's house my dad was here and my mom and my dad was in the backyard and my mom went in the kitchen to go grab some beer for them like for herself and my dad but as she looked in the window, she saw the man with the black trench coat next to my dad. She was like, oh, I guess he brought a friend. So she got an extra beer for that guy. And when she approached my dad, she realized he was gone. She's like, hey, what about your friend? And my dad was like, what are you talking about? Like, what friend? I'm the only one here. And she's like, yeah, there was this guy with a black trench coat. And he was like, no, it's just me. It's just me here waiting for you to bring the beer. And she freaked out and ran immediately to my grandmother and told her about this guy and this is when I was like oh okay I guess she sees him too he's not an imaginary friend little did I know there's a background story to her house the story that she told us was there was this family that was throwing a house party and everyone was outside the only people that were inside was the maid the grandmother as well as the two kids uh, the two kids and the grandmother were sleeping well, I believe the kids were sleeping in the bedroom above and the grandmother was in the basement and then the maid was in the other room and everyone else was outside. So they were having a family gathering till there was this car that drove by and started shooting everyone. It was just a drive-by going off. And more happened. They got off the car, the people that were driving, went inside the backyard, started shooting everyone, entered the house, shot the two kids in that room, and then shot the grandmother in the basement. Um, when she shared that story, she mentioned that there was so much blood and so much bodies here. Um, at the time, they actually buried some of the body remains in her backyard. At the moment, I don't know if they're still there, but that was the story I was told. And uh, ever since then, my grandmother was telling me, yes, you do hear some hauntings, I mean, some weird sounds. I know she mentioned you hear kids running, which I did heard it once, but I didn't really think much of it. Now I'm thinking about it like, oh, <laughs> makes sense. So that was one of the stories that kind of like opened me up in the spirit world. But one particular story actually, um, that actually made me fully believe was my grandmother. 
So my grandmother passed away a few years ago and she is someone that meant the whole world to me. She, she was my everything. She's still my everything. She's still someone I want to make her proud of me and yeah, I, I could go on and on, but she's, she's the world to me. But um, I remember she mentioned to me when she passed on, she will visit me here and there. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> if you say so, I'm sorry, vehicle. Rude. At the time I was hurting and I'm the type when I hurt, I, when I hurt, I like to just pull myself up and not show anyone my pain. But I felt her embrace and I felt her warmth and her hug and it felt so nice. I felt so safe and that's when I was like, oh, she's here. This is it. This is, I could feel her. And that's when I believed in spirits. So I was like, she's here. Whenever I need her, she is here. Um, ever since then, she kind of, I kind of feel her here and there. Um, side note, uh, crows. I absolutely love crows. I like birds now. Only because of her, because she said um, after her passing, she'll visit me in the form of a bird because she was obsessed with birds. Her birds were her favorite animals. And it has happened one a few times when I have a bird just following me all day. I was like, what's up with this bird? What's going on? Um, sometimes they'll follow me literally inside of my home so that's been strange so from experiencing the trench coat guy that I thought was imaginary friend and a ghost and also experienced my grandmother's step and she's visiting me some way in the spirit world I do believe there's ghosts and spirits uh, they're not all so bad I believe either there's some just visiting or some is just lost or maybe actually some are pretty bad so there you have it that's my video for this week about spirits and ghosts what do you think about spirits and ghosts like i mentioned before i'm so curious on other people's opinions and thoughts of spirits and ghosts and if you ever encountered anything please let me know i love these kind of stories i would love to hear more ghost stories i'm so fascinated by that so please let me know in the comments below but if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want more videos subscribe to my channel other than that thank you so much for joining me for my first spooky season and i'll see you next week